introduction of high-speed networks, 3G, HSDPA. There's also been a focus on growing data services. The assumption is with higher speed technology, data services will grow. On the other hand, we have some concerns that to grow data, the pricing is going to have to come down. Do you have any views on data pricing uh, in general? Uh, not specific pricing, of course, but uh, what will happen if we bring data down, or should we be keeping it where it is today? Anybody? Nakamura-san. It's become a very important uh, part of mobile communications. In China, mobile about 25% uh, of our revenue uh, from data, including SMS. And uh, it become a very important pa 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 uh, business for our customers also. But uh, our the customer always complain about uh, the international roaming for data. And uh, for, for example, the SMS in China, we charge our uh, customer about uh, one US cent per SMS. And uh, we always uh, ask our customer when they go abroad because of the very expensive roaming for voice, we uh, recommend them to use SMS. We think it would be uh, cheaper. But they, when they get back uh, from abroad, uh, they always complain about that. They, uh, they said the, the tariff for SMS is still very high. For example, if people uh, roaming to um, LTE, uh, and your opinions of the commitments of your companies to LTE and any comment, uh, in the case of Nakamura-san, he may want to comment on 4G. But in terms of LTE, any, any thoughts on the commitments? I don't know. I don't pay so much attention to the development of LTE from the very beginning. And China Mobile and the Vodafone initiated an alliance for next generation mobile network and now the alliance group has many major uh, international operators in crew, including NTT Docomo and uh, uh, AT&T and uh, Sprint and Nextel. And uh, we, our viewpoint is for the LTE, the next generation uh, technology of mobile network, we hope the operator can have more voices, and uh, we can discuss with designers, with manufacturers, but uh, we hope the uh, operator can uh, reflect more demands from the uh, customers. Thank you. There's a growing issue in the industry about uh, what some refer to as over-the-top services. These are services that one could argue are impacting the current business model that we have. Uh, sometimes people will include companies like uh, Apple, uh, Google, um, Nokia, as they branch out into new services. Do you have an opinion on whether this is seen as a concern for the current business models of your companies? Okay, I, I, we believe at Bharti that we believe at Bharti that uh, this is complementary to our services. As uh, Chairman Wong said earlier, uh, we own the customers. We own millions and millions of customers. And if we provide to these customers services, as I showed on Google and some other partners, with, with, with a reasonable revenue share, we don't mind it. I think the, the, the objective is to give more and more access to customers a very convenient, user-friendly access to customers for them to use services which they normally use on a PC, on a mobile phone now, with, with great amount of ease. And um, we see it complementary. We really don't see it as a threat.